Hello and welcome back to another quick, no-nonsense Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you the fastest and most efficient way to crop an image into a circle in Photoshop. Let's get started. First, start by importing your image into Photoshop. This is the image that we're going to be using for this tutorial. What we need to do next is unlock this layer. So we're going to head down into the layers section, which is in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see there's a padlock next to the image. Click this padlock to unlock it. After that, we're going to head over to the toolbar on the left hand side. What we're looking for is the frame tool. This might not be available initially. And if you can't see it, click these three dots and then a list will open up and you can simply select the frame tool from there. With the frame tool selected, we're going to make sure that we have a circle mask selected. So in the top left hand options bar, we're going to change from rectangle to circle. Now holding shift on the keyboard, we're going to drag over the face of the woman. What this will do is it will create a perfect circle mask over the image and it will maintain the proportions. The reason this is an efficient way to do it is because everything is contained within one layer. So if you were to use a shape layer and then create a clipping mask, you obviously have two layers then and in a larger composition, this can become quite messy to work with. So now we have the mask over the subject. What we need to do is reposition the face within the circle. To do this, click the image layer in the layers panel and then move it until you're happy with the positioning. Now I'm happy with the positioning, I'm going to crop the composition so you can hit C on your keyboard to bring up the crop tool and simply crop the image there. Okay, this is looking good. Before we get onto the exporting, say you wanted to edit or make a change to your image, this is how you would do it. The image was converted into a smart object, so in the layers panel, if we click the image in the bottom right hand side of the corner. This will open up a separate composition where we can make edits and changes to our image. I'm going to add a hue saturation layer here and then slightly tweak the color and hue. And then when you're happy with your changes, hit command S or control S on Windows to save this composition and then head back into the composition that we're working in and you'll see that the image has been updated. So now we're ready to export and how we're going to do that is head up to file, export and then save for web legacy. This will open up a separate window and by default you'll see that it's set to JPEG. But in this case we want to export our image as a PNG so the white areas in this square are transparent. And in order to do that we need to swap from JPEG to PNG24. After that, hit save and then just save your image where you want it to be. And that's the end of the tutorial. Congratulations, you've cropped an image inside of a circle and then exported it as a PNG. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your support really does make a difference. If you have any feedback or questions, please drop them in the comments below. As always, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.